In this video we share the third secret of Fatima and why Pope Benedict XVI changed his opinion on it. Once he arrived at the pontificate, he understood the veracity of the unpublished part of the third secret of Fatima. There was a time when Pope Benedict XVI changed his mind, and to say in 2000, that the prophecy of the third secret of Fatima had been fulfilled with the attack on Pope John Paul II, he went on to say, in 2010, that the prophecy had not yet been fulfilled, and that the greatest danger came from within the Church. This was noticed only by external analysts and was not commented on by those who have functional responsibility within the Church, because the official position, is that the Church has already published everything it had of the third secret. Here we will talk about how this change of opinion of Benedict XVI happened and how he revealed that there was something else in the third secret of Fatima. Benedict XVI, who died on December 31, on the eve of the Feast of Mary Mother of God, did not add mysteries to the Holy Rosary or add devotions to the Laurel Litanies, nor did he write encyclicals about the Virgin. And this is why some will say that he was not a Marian Pope. But he was in his own way, he gave spiritual and theological content to Marian devotion. And he relied on the invocations of each country to strengthen the faith of the peoples. From Lord he told us about the Blessed Mary as the focus of our hope, when it was in 2008 in the 150th anniversary of the apparitions. He explained Lord teaching as a sign of hope. He referred to the miracles that happen in the sanctuary and the hope that awakens in the sick. And he insisted on the constant in his pontificate, of the value of love, and that the power of love is stronger than the evil that threatens us. Then he unexpectedly went to Fatima in 2010, three years before his resignation. And he recalled that prayer and reparation in the face of evil must be a permanent task of Christians. There he explained that the Rosary is a modern and current devotion, in disagreement with those who after the Second Vatican Council considered it as a thing of old women. And he said that anyone who thinks that the prophecy of Fatima is fulfilled is fulfilled, in contradiction to what he had said in 2000, as Prefect of the Doctrine of the Faith, where he suggested that with the attack on John Paul II the prophecy of the Third Secret was closed. How is this? On July 13, 1917, the Virgin of Fatima had given the visionary Saw Lucia a secret message, which had to be written by her, enveloped it and given to the Pope, so that it could be opened in 1960. The content was written and delivered in 1944 and according to those who saw it, it consisted of two sheets with different content. None of the Popes from 1960 wanted to divulge the third secret, although they read it. And it was not until May 13, 2000, that the Vatican Secretary of State, Angelo Sodano, made it public by reading what Sister Lucy wrote at the time. And then Cardinal Ratzinger would comment on it. The third secret published, in short, refers to an angel with a flaming sword trying to set the world on fire, and the flames went out in the presence of Mary, while the angel said penance, penance, penance. Then it shows a second scene, of a bishop dressed in white, which the little shepherds assumed was the Pope, who is going up a hill along with bishops, priests and religious, on the top of which there is a rough cork oak cross. To get to it you must go through a ruined city in the middle of corpses, and pray for them. And when they reach the top, the bishop dressed in white and the others are killed by a group of soldiers. And then two angels collect the blood of the martyrs, and with it they water the souls who come to God. This text, does not really seem to be going to scandalize the people, so that the disclosure was retained for so many years by the popes. And this is why a good number of analysts considered that there must have been more that had not yet been revealed. Some Fatima followers said that what was missing in that text is the reference to a series of catastrophic events, including the so-called Vatican II and the assault of the Church by the modernist liberals within its structures. And then several Vatican bishops, priests and officials appeared who had read the text, as we expressed in several articles and videos, which we recommend you to watch. And they said that it contained the prophecy that an apostasy was going to happen within the Church, that is, 
a loss of faith, and that it would come from the apex. And he also prophesied that World War III would possibly leave Rome in ruins. And he also predicted natural disasters. On the other hand, there are very specific clues to the unrevealed content that John Paul II and Cardinal Ratzinger drop. In November 1980, John Paul II visited Fulda Cathedral, in Germany, and was asked why the third secret had not yet been revealed, and he gave some answers. He said that he had not been revealed because from his knowledge responsibilities arise and many people only want to know him for reasons of curiosity. So, to avoid sensationalism, he didn't want to reveal the content of the third secret. And then he also said, it is enough for you to know that entire regions of the earth will be flooded, with water overflowing large regions of the earth, and that millions will die from one moment to the next. What John Paul II said does not appear in the text published in 2000, where did he get it from? And in Cardinal Rotzinger's famous 1984 interview with Vittorio Massori, the future Benedict XVI said that the secret concerned the dangers that threaten the faith and life of Christians, and therefore the world. And also the importance of recent times. Ratzinger also explained that, the things contained in the third secret correspond to what is announced in scripture and confirmed in many other Marian apparitions. However, the vision of the Pope who is killed by soldiers, as expressed in the official version of the third secret, published in 2000, does not reflect the duries that threaten the faith, nor does it necessarily correspond to the last times. And one can look for other Marian apparitions in vain, if one hopes to find any reference to the prophecy of a pope who is killed by a group of soldiers. This is also not in the scriptures. So obviously there was something else they knew and didn't publish it. When the third secret of Fatima was revealed, by order of Pope John Paul II, the public comment made by Cardinal Ratzinger, Prefect for the Doctrine of the Faith, was that it referred to the attack suffered by John Paul II in 1981 and the struggle of atheist communism against the Church. And that in a broader sense, connected with the whole message of prayer, penance and reparation of Fatima. In other words, what the text prophesied had already been fulfilled with Ali Arja's failed attack on Pope John Paul II. But in 2010, already as Pope Benedict XVI, he went on a visit to Fatima and it seems that he changed his mind, without many noticing, he said, he is wrong who thinks that the prophetic mission of Fatima is finished. And in the interview during the plane trip to Fatima, he said that the novelty of this message lies in the fact that the attacks on the Pope and the Church not only come from outside, but that the greatest persecution comes from within. But what does it mean that the soldiers who kill the Pope are from the inside? Then Father Ingo Darlinger confirmed in 2016 that his friend Benedict XVI told him that there was more about the secret of Fatima. To which the Vatican responded that it had published everything it had about the third secret of Fatima. So, is the Vatican lying about this? Have successive popes lied? No because along with the original sheet of the third secret there was another sheet in the envelope, which contained the interpretation that the Virgin gave to Sister Lucy about the images shown in the third secret. And that analysts have called the fourth secret of Fatima. Therefore, it is technically correct to affirm that the third secret is completely revealed, if it is considered that the additional sheet is not part of the secret. This second sheet impressed John XXIII, and being so apocalyptic led him to the belief that it could only be a thought of the visionary, and not of supernatural origin. And that temperament was institutionally maintained by the Vatican to this day, making a mental reservation on the additional sheet, which today they call the fourth secret. And as Benedict XVI has been a faithful son of the ecclesial institution, he maintained his temperament. Although in 2010 he warned us that there was more about Fatima, without altering the Vatican decision not to publish the additional sheet. He went from giving theological support to the thesis that the prophecies of Fatima had been fulfilled, to the idea he expressed in the visit to Fatima in 2010 when he said that the prophecy had not yet been fulfilled. 
and possibly the change has happened, because already as Pope he was able to verify what several analysts say contains the third secret, the internal apostasy in the Church, which would begin from the top of the Vatican. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.